Welcome back to my channel, everyone. So today's video, right? This I'm not going to lie and sit here and say this is going to be a really good video. It's going to be a no frills video. It's just basically because I've been asked so many questions about my door cards. How did I black them out? What paint did I use? How did you paint them? Etc. Etc. So that's been going on for a little while now. Specifically on Instagram, not so much on um, YouTube. People on YouTube seem to. I don't know. They. I, I think it's like a different audience. People on YouTube seem to. They ask questions, which is completely understandable, but I think if they don't find the answer in the video, they move on. So they will go onto YouTube and then search the same thing, but click a different video. So they get their answer. Whereas like on Instagram, if you put a picture up of your doors or your interior, you'll get a few comments, but then you'll get about a hundred inboxes. People will just start direct message, the old DM, what they call it, direct messaging. Um, you'll get a load of them uh, coming through asking you the same question and quite frankly after a while it does get a bit uh, tedious answering the same thing so what I thought I would do um, is hide in this corner of the car park because there's a few Volkswagen transporters over there and I know if I pull up next to them there's one leaving now and he's eyeing my wheels up I know they're going to ask about my wheels and I wanted to make this vid so I'm not going to go over there anyway um the procedure that I took in order to get my door cards looking like that was um, very simple, very straightforward. I remove the door cards. That's very straightforward if you're not sure on that. Also, check out YouTube, other YouTube channels. I'm not putting that on my video. The how-to guides are all right, but to put a how-to guide on how to remove a door card, in my mind, is even more tedious than making this video so so basically you can find that part on there then once i remove the door cards all i've done is get a sponge and get a rag some warm water a bit of uh, washing up liquid it wasn't brand specific it didn't have to be fairy you could use co-op's finest if you wanted um, only a little bit just to degrease and remove all of the grime um, which had built up and accumulated after the last owner having the van for four years um, He don't seem to have liked cleaning the van. I, I don't know what happened there But it was pretty grimy in there. So I cleaned it got rid of all of the crap on the doors and then After that I took a little drive down to Wix. We don't have to go to Wix I'll, I'm gonna leave the links for the parts the parts the materials I use to get them looking like this I went to uh, Wix got myself some plastico matte black spray paint now because of this um current situation which is going on out in the world um this this whole crazy situation it was very difficult to um get enough cans of the stuff and at the time the weather it was 30 degrees in the shade it was like one of the hottest days in the uk this is a few months ago and i noticed every time i did that a few sprays it evaporated into thin air and you know three quarters of the can was going up in the sky and the other quarter was landing on the doors um but yeah i ended up getting through four cans of matte black spray paint i didn't bother doing any um priming any lacquering or anything fancy i'm very like my van is very rugged it might look quite flash in here but if you go and take a trip on the outside of it and walk around You'll notice I've got dings, dents, buckled doors. I've got mud all up the sides, missing plastic parts from the steps. It, I'm not bothered about bodywork, and I'm certainly not bothered about how my doors look. So if you, when you look at them, you notice the little patches. Um, don't think I care too much about them because I really don't. The patches, I'll tell you about them in a sec and why they're there. But anyway, I sprayed them. I built up, I think, four or five coats on each door. That took me <sighs> best part of five minutes a coat over the course of two days so i done two or three coats one day i waited for the heat to disappear i went back to it the next day and gave it a few more coats i then refitted the door cards back to the van and then i looked at them and i thought do you know what they look good but i'm not 100 percent happy with them so that's when i took a little trip to my garage dived and swam through all of the crap in there and i found some do you remember like the back to black teacup bumper polish type thing 
got some of that out and just rubbed that over and I thought, you know what, that will give it a bit more of a shine, a bit more of a nicer finish. Anything looks better than that boring grey Volkswagen give you when you buy the van from them. Uh, so I literally done that, put all that on and the doors actually, to be fair to them, look, take a look. Let me get this camera. They actually look all right. They've, they've had like quite a bit of abuse already, being at my van's a swamper. Um, they do need a clean. There's no, you, there's no sign of grey on the doors. They, they look all right. The top, the tops of the doors, look, that's all finished nice. And um, don't worry about that. That's just from my uh, salty shorts where I went in the water the other week and just left them on the side and got a bit of salt water on them. And then the same again this side. But the patches, these are like the greasy patches, which I was saying about. This is basically from back to black liquid. So if you are going to do this, you don't have to do it exactly the same way as I've done. Like you could maybe put matte black on, but you don't have to put the back to black stuff on. I've just done it because that's me. Um, but like I was saying, my van, the bodywork, look, I've even got seagull crap all over it. Um, you know, m missing plastic panels. I've got dinks in the doors, like here. So if you're looking for like the, the rugged look, give this a go. If you are looking for more of a professional finish, like you've got a bit more of a show type Volkswagen transporter, I would say spend your money and get a professional to do it. Get them to take the door cards off and um, spray them up nicely and then put them back. I did see online a lot of people who were asking questions as well about these doors. Um, were saying about this black, you can buy like a liquid like a, a liquid which you rub on the plastic. Um, my opinion on that is how long will that last? That might only last a, a few years, if you keep your van that long, <laughs> or it might last a few weeks. Cause I know with like liquids, they tend to come off, don't they? That's why I put matte black spray paint on. Um, but yeah, it's only plastic, nothing too dramatic. I'm gonna leave the links in this description to the items that I use. Um, don't copy me if you don't want a rugged look. If you like the rugged look and you've got a bit of a, you know, uh, rough fan like mine, then yeah, feel free to copy what I've done. But I hope it inspires you all. Um, that's all I can say really. Hope you've been inspired by this video. And if you have any more questions, feel free to send them below. Ask, you know, I, I will always get back to people if you've got any questions about them. And I think that's it. I think I've covered it. Can't really think of much more a few more videos will be going up again soon and yeah that's it for today see you later